嗱，以前咧就有九大行星啦，大冥王星咧喺零六年被剔出行星嘅行列之后咧，行星只系剩低八个啫。咁科学家就喺一月睇太阳喺边缘发现一颗行星，咁科学家甚至系预测佢会严重威胁地球所有生命。咁英国太阳报报道啦，呢一颗第九号行星最接近地球嘅时候，会令到彗星同埋小行星撞向地球。部分科学家甚至预料最快四月底就会出现呢一个情况。咁系咪即系话地球所有生命到时都会灭绝咧？美国路易斯安那州大学太空物理学家惠特迈尔就认为呢一颗行星嘅轨迹环绕太阳一周要两万年。咁佢就话，当呢一颗行星进入布满石块嘅安伊伯带嘅时候，会令到彗星同埋小行星撞向地球。咁更加认为佢同以往地球生命灭绝嘅历史有关。咁报道就话，以往嘅化石研究显示，每二千六百万至到二千七百万年，大部分地球嘅生命就会被灭绝一次，但系原因不明。有科学家更加担心，今个月底之前呢一种情况就会发生啦。咁究竟系咪危言耸听？信不信由你啦。We're gonna start the mix with the end of days. It was seen in Australia overnight. Yeah, take a look at this. Wow, this freaky springtime storm in Australia was seen in Brisbane yesterday. We're getting word. Look at this guy. He posted that this was a reminder to never go to Brisbane in the spring. Wow. He posted that video. Um, 28,000 lightning strikes recorded in this storm that took place 6:30 in the evening that last night. It's crazy, you know. Hundreds of fish have washed up on a beach south of Perth. Local fishermen are angry. There's still no word on what's caused the deaths. Kim Burton has been fishing Coburn Sound for almost four decades, but he's never seen anything like this. Just saw multiple dead fish on the beach. It, it, um, probably seven or eight different species. More than 700 fish have washed ashore since last Wednesday, but why remains a mystery. Here's another one. This is the biggest fish kill we've seen in the oceanic waters. Testing done by the Department of Fisheries so far hasn't been able to find a cause. Investigations are continuing. 2015, with all the resources of government and all the things that they've got at their disposal, it's really disappointing that they can't tell us any more. Even the author of Charlotte's Web could not have spun this story. Maybe it's best described as a sci-fi thriller. Either way, there's an eight-legged problem causing headaches for some homeowners in North Memphis. Frost or morning dew covering the grass in this neighborhood near Chelsea in May. I've never seen anything. Four years, and I never saw this. Never seen nothing like this before. When I got up this morning, it was like spiders all on my door. They were coming in my house. Yeah, well, a sinkhole the size of a football field has swallowed a large part of a beach on North Stradbroke Island off Brisbane. Tons of sand disappeared into the sea, but authorities say the sand will likely return with the tide. Experts are calling it an underwater avalanche. Campers and fishermen are being warned to avoid the area until the beach stabilizes. A downtown favorite has reopened after an unusual phenomenon forced them to close for the first time in almost a quarter century. The Elephant Room had to shut down back on November 13th after a sinkhole opened up. The owner wasn't sure how long they would be closed or if they could reopen at all. It's the first time they've closed their doors since opening back in January of 1991. A man thought he was driving into a parking spot, but his car ended up being swallowed by a sinkhole. Half of the car Andy Liston was driving is in this big hole. He lives on Folsom Street in South City. He parked there because somebody was parked in his normal spot. Liston says as soon as he pulled up, the ground opened up. I pulled in and this thing, you know, my whole court fell in. And I hit my head on the stairwell, but I was so scared that I just jumped out the driver's side, like on a movie, just jumped out the passenger side, I mean. It's a question that just appears just won't be solved. Picture after picture coming in to Channel 9, of course, of that crazy cloud formation. So many of you sending in these pictures uh, across the tri-state, really. And tonight, weather experts are still stumped about what could have caused this. One thing we do know, it carried on for miles and miles in the sky. What the heck was this? It was seen over across the tri-state today, and a lot of folks got nervous because the obvious look is, oh my goodness, it's a funnel cloud. As you take a closer look at it, it's kind of broken up a little bit. There's some jaggedness. It's not quite held together, but boy, it caused a lot of folks to wonder. We were talking about it this morning. Jennifer Ketchmark ended up talking to the weather service. They didn't know what it was. Many of you called our newsroom or sent us messages on our Facebook page saying that you heard it. People in Boyle and Mercer counties reported a loud boom that shook their homes last night. 
Emergency crews investigated but couldn't find any sign of an explosion. He said was he sent me an article about the explosion. Felicia Kelly and her daughter Michaela say they like the quiet, peaceful farmland area around Parksville in western Boyle County. This is as loud as it gets out here. So you can imagine the surprise when that tranquility was suddenly broken Thursday night. It sounded like a loud, like an explosion or something. I mean, it wasn't, it was, it was kind of different because it was just kind of a dull boom. Yeah, it was more of a sound. It was a boom. You know, it was a loud uh, explosion type. The Danville 911 Center received at least 15 phone calls. It was apparently heard in neighboring Mercer, Lincoln, and Garrett counties as well. There's been a lot of theories floating around as to what exactly it was. The prevailing one, police are telling me possibly a meteor shower and the resulting sonic boom from that. And some people told us they actually heard two loud booms, but no one reported actually seeing anything in the sky. But five, that section of Vasquez Canyon Road that buckled several days ago is still closed to traffic. But as Eyewitness News reporter Annabel Munoz reports, the unstable road is now attracting the curious. Vasquez Canyon Road in Santa Clarita has become quite the eyesore over the past few days. Professor Jeremy Boyce said, quote, there was no big rainstorm that triggered this. There was no big earthquake that triggered this. The long arcing up and down street grew 15 feet in three days, which has completely stumped local geologists. I just don't understand it. Uh, you know, like I say, I've lived here all these years and I've never uh, uh, seen anything really like this. The Oklahoma Corporation Commission wants companies to close two wells and cut back at 23 others after a series of earthquakes today. It happened near Cherokee, which is about two and a half hours west of Tulsa. The U.S. Geological Survey says people in 13 states say they felt that earthquake. Four more earthquakes happened in that same area today and two others near Crescent, Oklahoma. The U.S. Geological Survey says a 5.9 magnitude earthquake has struck northern Afghanistan. Well, if you thought you felt the earth move beneath you in the early morning hours, you're not alone. A small earthquake registering at 3.6 shook the area near Cornwall today just after midnight. The quake was reported 15 kilometers from Cornwall. There are reports that residents heard a loud crack before the rumbling began lasting around 20 minutes. Good evening, everyone. The New Madrid fault caused quite a stir this morning and throughout the afternoon. You may have felt it. There were 12 earthquakes reported today, all centered near, near Lilburn, Missouri. One man working in the area says all the rumbling woke him up. I was laying in bed and it hit, and I thought it done broke the bed down. I thought, I thought the bed done broke completely down with the hard as it hit. And it wasn't too long later, and I had, we had another hard thud. But so many quakes so close together is a bit unusual. Happy New Year, everybody. This is Steve Olson with uh, a new special report. Um, I've been watching Core 2, and we have some, uh, some new things to show. The date is January 1st, 2015. So let's start out with an update um, on Core 2. Um, as we can see, we're having a really strange object here that we're going to talk about a little bit in depth today, folks. Um, it's been there for quite a while. It's been pointed out by a couple other scientists, researchers. Nobody knew, knows what it is, and nobody's talking about it, obviously. So we're going to talk about it today. Similar to the last video that I did, oops, sorry, 
going backwards here. Similar to the last video I did, what I did was I lined up the H1 um, stereo and Core 2 as best as I could with the geometry available. And actually, um, just wanted to give you an update that whatever this is, Nibiru or whatever it is, it seems to be orbiting around this object. Um, and that's why I keep trying to show that this is uh, uh, Venus and Mars in our view here. So just to kind of uh, go through some of the evidence that we're seeing today, um, I wanted to actually take you to first the Australian Antarctic Division and kind of give you a view of what's going on from the South Pole. Um, and again, things have uh, evolved and not changed since the last time we talked. Check this out. Um, it's going to come up on the screen here real quick. It seems like I get a bright spot every time I look for this. Um, and I'm very thankful uh, for these opportunities to see it. But check this out. Okay, so there's our object again, which I believe is a brown dwarf. And I believe these are either planets or other stars. The object that some people were arguing was some type of uh, guts of the machine uh, reflecting back out now is proven it's not. It's up in space somewhere, a huge triangle with this eye coming down on it, I suppose. I don't know. Uh, but that's out in space, um, and that, this kind of proves that today. Check this out. Oh, my God. This is just mind-blowing stuff. I can't, I can't tell you how mind-blown I am. And then I just wanted to quickly show you that the object is still visible at the regular times, which is um, sometime in the middle morning to noon in the central time to go at the sky cams and see it in Brazil. And then evening time, central time, if you want to go look at the sky cams in Australia, which, by the way, they're shutting down. So with that all said, I'd like to finish up with just a quick look at the last couple of days of uh, Core 2 imagery and just do a little slideshow for you. The first thing I'm going to point out to you, though, is on the 25th of December. Oh, my God. What is that? What is this cloud or whatever this down here? I think we know. If you go look at my past videos, you, you'll see what we, what we found together. This thing bursting out here and this big black spot. These are not normal Core 2 images, folks. Let's just be clear on that, okay? So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and we'll run through Core 2 here and see the last couple days, make some comments, and then I'll let you guys go with the final word. It's, uh, by the way, not going to be a religious word. It's going to be a scientific word, so hang on, because there's another piece of evidence that I need to show you here before we end the video. Look at that. That is amazing. There's all this uh, like cloud formation down in here. There's something moving across the frame down here, like a comet, another comet. Um, the sun is just not normal. And then all of a sudden, boom, they change it. And then they start to doggle it and, and occult it again. But I'm going to show you that it's not as easy to hide as you might think here in just a second. So here we go. We're just going to flash back to the beginning again. So let's get rid of that. And let me take you to my final point. So there is definitely something behind the sun that's causing its own rays. And let me show you why I believe that. So here's that uh, close-up of one of those images. And this is the cleanest image I could get of this, this object here. Um, first of all, you notice that this is not coming from the sun. This is, they're doggling the connection there so you can't see that this is not coming from the sun. And let me show you why, how, I, how I know that. So ge simple geometry will tell me that everything emanates from the center of the sun and comes out. So that is definitely from the sun. Number two, this one is definitely from the sun because look at it, it's straight and it goes right through the center. That one's definitely from the sun because it goes right through the center. Check that one out. That one doesn't go through the center, folks. This is not coming from the sun. Have a good afternoon. Look for my next videos. Hope you're doing well. Ninja 
。美国路易斯安那州大学太空物理学家惠特迈尔就认为呢一颗行星嘅轨迹环绕太阳一周要两万年。咁佢就话，当呢一颗行星进入布满石块嘅埃尔伯大嘅时候，会令到水星同埋小行星撞向地球。咁更加认为佢同以往地球生命滅绝嘅历史有关。咁报道就话，以往嘅化石研究显示，每二千六百万至到二千七百万年，大部分地球嘅生命就会被滅绝一次，但系原因不明。有科學家更加擔心今個月底之前呢一種情況就會發生啦。究竟係咪危言聳聽，信不信由你啦。We're going to start the mix with the end of days. It was seen in Australia overnight. What? Yeah, take a look at this. Wow. This freaky springtime storm in Australia was seen in Brisbane yesterday. We're getting word. Look at this guy. He posted that this was a reminder to never go to Brisbane in the spring. Wow. He posted that video. Um, 28,000 lightning strikes recorded in this storm、What? that took place. 